It was not so long ago that these tranquil scenes simply didn't exist in southern Sudan. With war at an uncertain end, the civilian population here struggles towards normality. With a heavy dependence on agriculture and access to land, the civilian resettlement process is hindered by explosive remnants of war. DDG team leader Kenya John Charles explains a recent influx of returning refugees and internally displaced persons to the area. Yeah, the population is increased. Uh, that some people brought from uh, neighboring countries uh, like Uganda, the IDPs, those who ran during the war time. So they are coming to settle, and the population is now increasing. In order to make way for these returnees, John Charles and other DDG team leaders carry out what's known as Battle Area Clearance Operations, or BAC. BAC tasks aim to clear former battlegrounds of unexploded ordnance, including cluster submunitions, which were used regularly during the war in southern Sudan. Today we are doing BAC, and the, the work of today is excavation for the sub ammunition PM1, which are dropped by aircraft bomb during the war time uh, since 2002 and 2003. The work is difficult, but teams like this one have made remarkable progress. In 2009 alone, DDG cleared nearly 4,000 pieces of unexploded ordnance, including some 450 cluster submunitions. Since beginning work in Sudan in 2006, DDG has cleared more than 10,000 pieces of unexploded ordnance. Stand by firing, firing now. The work has an immediate and coveted impact. As we clear all the sub ammunition in the area, they say uh, they will really use for development. Uh, building the houses around the area which we clear or maybe they will use the area for cultivation or growing of their crops. <laughs>